I get so many questions every day about helping people make decisions. If I consider how I make decisions, I have learned to follow my heart. I tell people to do the same, but they still seem confused. I believe that we become what we practice, and as we develop a practice, it then becomes natural. So I work hard on my mindfulness practice every day and feel confident that it helps to guide my heart. I normally come to Sri Lanka once per year from June to August. In that time, I focus on completing projects that have been developing over the year, offering projects that have been completed and initiating new projects. In addition to project work, there are several annual programs I conduct during this period. The largest among them, including our annual donation of medical equipment to local hospitals and the program to honor and support pregnant mothers in Sri Lanka. Like all things this year and the last, they have been profoundly affected by the corona pandemic. When I understood I would not be able to carry out my regular programs, I listened to my heart. I remembered an article in the news about the effect corona was having on pregnant women in the hospital. Many have become sick and some have died, often time causing loss of two lives. The major problem the hospitals were facing was insufficient equipment to detect corona on time. I knew immediately what I had to do. I called a good doctor friend of mine and asked him what equipment the hospitals needs. He got back to me very quickly with the answer. I can tell you Bhante, but it is too expensive. I asked him to tell me anyway and he told me about the process of testing patients for corona. The needs were for a biosafety cabinet and a bio extractor machine a total cost of 26,000 US dollars. I said, let's try. Because I would be unable to carry out some regular programs, I wanted to direct all of my energy to this course. I created newsletters, appeals and made phone calls. I created a fundraiser for my birthday and I did everything. Many people told me it was a crazy idea and that it could not be done. But with the power of right intention, we were able to get the equipment. The machine that we have purchased and donated will double the number of samples that can be tested daily, reduce testing errors and increase the safety and well-being of frontline workers in the hospital. As a net value, they will save lives of people who come to these large hospitals from all around the country. On the day of donating the equipment, the hospital administration came to meet and thank us personally. They tell us that without our donation, they could not dream of receiving this type of equipment. What they get usually come from the government and in this third world country, the money is not available. In my mind, I am thinking how humble I am to actually see how excited they are to receive this. This machine is not for their homes, not for their benefits of their personal lives. This machine will benefit their profession, their country and their commitment to protecting people and saving lives. When I see how much they appreciate the benefit of this equipment, I realize that I was right to listen to my heart. I have committed my life to the benefit of all beings and the development of my loving kindness practice. I don't know how much time I have here, but I work to use whatever there is. The work that I do does not happen with just me, but from supporters all over the world. I am always grateful to the help I receive and I will always remember to share 
the merits of these good deeds. For myself and behalf of the Sri Lankan people, thank you everyone who helped me to reach this goal. I will continue to listen to my heart and I hope you can learn to listen to yours. It is waiting for you. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. Choose loving kindness. If you or someone you know would like to join Bhante Sujatha in his mission to add more loving kindness to the world through projects like this one, please visit the website or donate through the information at the end of this video and in the details below. Please visit www.bhantesujatha.org or www.sanathasuya.org to learn more. If you would like to donate now, there are links in the description below. Thanks for watching.